So anchor replacement is a surgery to substitute the damaged arthritic surface of uh, the ankle joint with an artificial joint. Uh, this joint is usually formed of two metal components uh, and the plastic insert uh, in between. It addresses the three uh, main problems facing ankle arthritis patients, and these are the pain, the deformity, and the instability. The pain is addressed because we replace the surface of the joint, which generates the pain. The deformity is addressed because we correct any deformity uh, as part of the procedure. And finally, the instability uh, is something that happens when the joint is malaligned or when the ligaments are damaged. And we do soft tissue balancing during this operation that allow the joint, uh, the soft tissues to be quite balanced and therefore restores stability. Um, candidates for ankle replacement would be patients with advanced ankle arthritis. Uh, the majority of these patients are usually post-traumatic patients. Uh, ideally, they shouldn't be too young. So we try to offer uh, ankle replacement to patients over the age of 60. But uh, having said that, we gradually now offer it even to patients younger than 60. Uh, ideally, there shouldn't be any history or any clinical signs to suggest any infection because infection is a contraindication for this uh, procedure. Uh, obviously, the patients uh, would normally be in pain and they would have tried conservative treatment, uh, but the outcome wouldn't be satisfactory to them and therefore they would have asked for a, a, a much more definitive uh, uh, treatment like an anchor replacement. So the main treatment that we compare ankle replacement with is ankle fusion, because this is the other treatment that we offer for uh, patients with severe ankle arthritis. The main difference between those two procedures is the shorter recovery period, the shorter period of immobilization with ankle replacement. And this is the biggest advantage of ankle replacement. Also, the studies and the literature has shown that patients with an ankle replacement walk with a more natural gait compared to ankle fusion. We get patients all the time asking for an ankle replacement because they don't want to have their ankles fused and they want to keep uh, the movement in the ankle. But I tell them that the ankle replacement is not an operation for movement, it's an operation for pain. Now, some patients get a lot of movement, uh, some patients get very little movement, but both are quite happy because the pain is significantly better. Having said that, even if there is no, uh, if the range of movement is not uh, significant after an anchor replacement, a small range of movement, even a jog of movement, can have a significant effect in protecting the neighboring joints. Because if a joint is fused, all the stresses get transferred to the next joint down. So a uh, very common complication of ankle fusion is arthritis in the neighboring joints that can present uh, years uh, after the index procedure. After ankle replacement, patients are usually in a boot for a period of four to six weeks. Um, at the two weeks mark, they attend for sutures to be removed. And I see my patients again at the six weeks mark where we get some x-rays to check that everything is fine. They start physiotherapy after uh, the second week, after the wounds have healed, and physio has a full protocol that we've developed now for the rehabilitation of these patients, starting from gait training to core muscle uh, strengthening to range of movement exercises and calf stretches and so. And then gradually they start introducing uh, their day-to-day -day activities in small increments. So at the six weeks mark, they would be usually walking without the boot, uh, with uh, having uh, weaned the crutches off. And they start introducing things like swimming that they can introduce at that time, maybe a static bike. Um, activities like uh, golf, for example, can usually be started with a couple of holes around the 12 weeks mark. And more aggressive uh, activities like hiking, for example, usually happens after six months. So ankle replacement uh, surgery is obviously a major joint uh, replacement. So like hips and knees, 
uh, there are uh, risks linked to this procedure. Uh, for example, swelling lasts for a long period of time, keeps going on and off for a good while. There is uh, a small risk of four to five percent of superficial wound infection that might demand some antibiotics or dressings. Deep infection is a bit more serious, but much rarer, happens in less than one percent of cases. Numbness at or distal uh, to the scars can happen as well. Um, injury to major nerves and vessels, again, is very rare, way below 1%. Uh, risk of having a clot uh, in the leg, uh, again, a serious clot can happen in way less than 1% of patients. Very, very rarely that clot can travel to the lung and can become very serious. Um, the other risks that are inherent to this procedure are things like malalignment. And we go at length to try to get the alignment right and we measure angles and we now do pre-operative navigation of these ankles so that uh, it is all very, very accurate. But again, sometimes the, the alignment can be off a few uh, degrees or so. The other thing that we have to also appreciate is that uh, any joint replacement can ultimately become loose. Loosening means that the bond between the anchor replacement and the bone starts to break and the joint starts to rattle a little bit and that makes uh, the joint painful. We call it the survivorship of implants and the current survivorship of anchor replacement is something between 90 to 95 percent at 10 years and that means that after a period the joint can become a bit loose and if it becomes loose it will become painful and if it is bad enough patients might need revision surgery. 